So in this video, I'm continuing the build on this tower clock and making the automatic electronic winder. To go over, this is a plan I'm getting from John Wilding, uh, but I found some improvements I can make on this automatic electric winder that he so shows. So you can see here are the pictures. He has quite a complex uh, little mechanism to turn this thing on and off. So a lot of parts, a lot of pieces uh, would need to be made. So I went back to the basics and looked at a simple stop-start circuit. Um, had a relay here, a motor starter relay, and figured out how to wire this thing out. And here's what you see I've done. So you can see this operating. So this is winding um, the clock up. And when those little weights um, hit a place on that uh, wheel that's spinning around, it'll automatically stop. And it's really just a start-stop button that would be on a typical motor starter. You can see here, I'll exercise the start and the stop. And this follows that circuit. I've got cams here um, that are what turn those little switches on. And you can see how they ride. And those cams are adjustable. So you can have the length that you want that to go up and down. Here's how you see it works. You hit the start button, it'll go up until that stop button is hit, and then it stops. So a very clean way, um, I think much cleaner than the original design that he had um, to build this in, but still maintain the good idea he had with the weights. Other thing I had to add was this ratchet. Uh, Wilding's design, if you had a heavy weight, it would rotate that motor backwards when the motor was unpowered. So I had to fix that so I can add the weight that I would like. Hope you like these uh, little additions. And if you find it interesting, uh, please subscribe and watch the rest of this build. Um, there's more to come. So thanks very much and hope you're enjoying it.